Hey guys, this is Josh with Layout Medics. Um, I just wanted to post a quick response to one of the comments on YouTube. We've got somebody asking, uh, can the HD docs actually be on an external drive and referred to by an alias inside of the MAMP folder? And the answer is yes. And I'm going to show you how to do this. This is, uh, again, a question to episode three on uh, using local domain names. So, <clears throat> um, basically what I have here is a USB drive, which uh, I've got my website on, the files to my website. So I'm just going to plug that in. And let's go find it. So... So it is in a site called Chiefy, and uh, I've got a folder called My Site, and in there is just uh, an index file. As I wait for Firefox to open up, I should open it in Safari. Okay, here we go. So it's just an index file. It says it works. So. Um, Basically, you can do this. The only thing you need to know is how to get to the path. So I'm on a Mac. Um, I hope you are too. In the terminal, you can find the path um, by using the list command. So you're going to type ls. And if you just hit enter, that's going to show you uh, where you're at in the current directory. But um, to show basically all the uh, drives that are in your computer, you're going to want to go ls and then two backslashes and then with a capital V and the rest lowercase volumes and you see um, I can see the chiefy uh, drive right there so I can just do ls again and as you can see there's all the um, all the files so all I need to do now is go back and uh, basically in my httpd.conf <clears throat> I created another uh, virtual host right here and basically all I needed to do was to in the document root I put that double backslash volumes the name of the drive and then I'm gonna put the folder which was my site I've got the server name is my site dot local and then uh, you'll need to edit your hosts file which to get to that just refer back to episode 3 and add another line there I've got my site dot local so I'm going to stop the server and start it back up again and if I had everything set up correctly I can just go to my site.local and there you have it. So, um, you know, I'm not sure if uh, like PHP is going to run in there. So let's um, let's create another file in here. Let's see. So I'm going to open this up in TextMate and create. A new file, php info.php. And I'm just going to run the php info command. So if all else, if everything worked, php. And there you go. So I'm running php from the MAMP folder, but it's against uh, an external drive from the USB, which uh, that's a really great question because that way you can put all your files uh, on a USB drive or something and then carry it around and work on it on several different computers. So uh, great question. Keep them up. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the feed, uh, you can do so in uh, iTunes and get them automatically downloaded. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.